All right, so this is demonstrating uh, filtering technique. We have a sand and water mixture. Okay, basically suspension. We have a filter funnel, funnel, conical flask, and Aiden here, the face isn't in it, mate, is, uh, has just made us a paper cone out of filter paper. Can you just show us the cone there? Very good. So if you can pop that into the funnel. Excellent. Now, um, Aiden, we just need to mix that up a bit with the stirring rod. Yep, two minutes, please. Give it a good mix. So it's all suspended. And then what we want to do is uh, filter out the sand from the water. So after Aiden's given that a really good stir, he's going to tip a little bit into the funnel, making sure that none goes down the sides or he doesn't fill up that filter paper too much because then it will go down the sides as well. So do you want to start pouring, Aiden? Yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm just going to use the water off. Oh, water. I'm going to try again. Try and get a little bit of that sediment there. So just reduce the amount of water there. Give it a good swish. Yep. Try and get some of that sand in there. Just tip it up. Tip it up. Tip it in. Go. Some of the sand will come out as you tip. Keep tipping. The sand will come. The sand will come. It's gonna come. Keep tipping. It's not coming out. It's coming. It's like here we go. So we're getting some sand in there now. You can see. Okay. Alright, that'll do for now. Alright, so we've separated the sand. We can see a little bit of uh, sediment remaining in the filter paper. And what have we got underneath, importantly? Is crystal clear, yeah, crystal clear filtrate for the water. So water separated from the sand and the sand. So it's a successful technique. Put your hand around in there to show me that it's mixed up. So what we've got in here is a mix of corn and rice, uncooked of course. Um, and we want to separate that using a technique called sieving using this sieve. Okay, so this technique is sieving. Now, if you wouldn't mind filling up the sieve with the mixture. Yeah, your faces are not in this, by the way. Very good. It'd be easier with two buckets, wouldn't it? So you could just tip it in. Keep going, keep going. You want it all separated in the end. And what? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a tip. Tip. Put this on top of that. Flat. Hold them both together, Becky. And then we just go like this. Now slide your book away, tip any rice that's come through in, and then start sieving. Sieve, sieve, sieve. Okay. All done. Lo and behold, we have the rice completely separated and show us the corn. Brilliant. Very good. Simple technique called sieving. I want you to separate the corn and the water using that sponge. Okay, how do you do it? Without without putting any of the corn down the sink. Just put the sponge in there and it'll dissolve up the water. And squeeze it out where? Where are you going to squeeze out the water though? Thank you. Go, do it. Show me. So this method is called absorption. The water is being absorbed into the sponge every time you put it back in. I want you to go all the way until there's no more water. Oh 
maçta. Oh. Might have to tip it up a little bit. Yep. Awesome. Nice work. Just shake it around so you can show me that it's all gone. Is that working? Are you getting anything? Oh, there it is. There it is. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if you can get some more. Yep, very nice. And maybe put it on the side as well. Do the same thing from the side. Shake it back up. Yep. That's it. Cool. Yeah, very good. Thanks, Isaiah. Thank you, mate. All right, as we can see, now the colours have separated out. We've got the blues at the top, and the reds and the purples right in the middle, and the pinks all the way toward the bottom. So, Rachel, you can take that out and lay it on the bench so we can look at it. Okay, so we've effectively separated the colours out. So there's a mix of colours in purple. What colours do we know from primary school that are make up purple? Um, red and blue. Red and blue, and that's pretty much what we've got there. So it's separated out the red and the blue. More or less. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so this is chromatography technique. Just move your hand away, please, Rachel. Um, so what we've got is a bit of chromatography paper, and we've just got a beaker with a little bit of water in it. And we want to separate the colours that are in the dye, the ink, in that pen there. So Rachel's going to put a dot uh, about there, so it's above the line of the water. Go, Rachel. Put a dot. Excellent, perfect. And now we're going to place the chromatography paper into the beaker so that the dot is just above the water. Yep, that's it. And yep, if you can hold it there and watch, and you might want to come around here, Courtney, watch as the water sucks up through the paper and starts spreading out the dye. And you'll see that it will go up the paper, it'll go up, up and up, and start separating out all of the colours. Let's see if we can get that. At the moment it's just all sort of colours, shades of, shades of pink. I'm just going to talk about this. This, this uh, station is called evaporation, and as you can see, we've got a beaker of salt water. Salt and water mixed together, so that's your mixture. And we're just pouring it into this evaporating dish, which is constantly boiling. And I don't know if you can see on the video, but you can see that there's a crust of salt building up around it. As the water evaporates, we're left with the solid salt. And if we just keep tipping on more of the water, salt water, then we're just going to keep adding more and more salt. So this salt is going to continue to build up. So that's evaporation. Okay. Okay, so what we've got here, as I said, is a mixture of food and water. Food dye and water, sorry. Can someone tell me what process is going on in this bulb? Evaporation. Excellent. So we've got evaporation. What do you think is evaporating, the water or the food dye? Water. Excellent. So we've got water that's going from a liquid to a gas. That water gas, water vapour, is travelling up here and then coming down this tube. Sarah and Belana, do you want to come around and look at it from around here? What you can see here is a tube inside a tube. So there's a little tube in the middle, can you see that? And then a big tube on the outside. So that water gas is travelling through that tube in the middle. Then what I'm doing here, I'm running cold water through this tap. The cold water's coming up around the other tube in the middle and it's cooling that water gas down because this is cool. And what's happening inside the tube? Condensation. So those gas particles are losing energy coming back together and they're condensing to form what? Liquid. Back to a liquid. So look at this, pure water is coming out drop by drop. So we're going liquid, gas, gas, gas and then at some point here we're turning back into a liquid and then dripping back down. And we're separating. So what's happening to the food dye? It's just so still sort of there and eventually when the water goes it will still be there. You notice it's got a higher evaporation point. Excellent. So it's not going anywhere, it's staying there. 
So this will go down and down and down as the water gas evaporates. Food dye will stay there and it would only evaporate if we turned up this Bunsen burner much higher because that's probably got a higher evaporation point of two, three hundred degrees. Okay. So look, not one speck of blue in there. Brilliantly 95 clear. already. Well, it was down to 50, 45 ish, now it's up to 95. Very good. Alright, thanks, Dylan. You can stop.